टिश्यू कल्चर पार्ट वन एन इंपॉर्टेंट डिस्कवरी इन टर्म्स ऑफ सेल्स एंड स्टडी हैज बीन दी एडवेंट ऑफ टिश्यू कल्चर विच रिफर्स टू दी आइसोलेशन ऑफ सेल्स टिश्यूज और ऑर्गन फ्रॉम प्लांट्स एंड ग्रोइंग दैम एसेप्टिकली इन सुटेबल कंटेनर्स ऑन एन आर्टिफिशियल न्यूट्रिय मीडियम अंडर कंट्रोल कंडीशन The basis for this technique which has become a major biotechnological tool in crop improvement is totipotency that is the capacity of living cells of a multicellular organism to develop independently into an organism under suitable conditions Hebelant 1902 a German botanist was the first to grow isolated plant cell on artificial medium post which the progress in the field of tissue culture has been spectacular there are mainly four types of cell or tissue culture one organ culture where an organ flower bud immature fruit is grown in isolation from the parent plant two embryo culture where an isolated or immature embryo is grown Three, tissue culture, where cell material isolated from a parent plant is grown to form callus or to regenerate organs or grow into a whole plant. And four, suspension cultures, in which isolated cells or small clumps of cells are grown in a liquid medium. A good laboratory. with aseptic conditions for working is required for cell and tissue culture some essential equipment for tissue culture are refrigerator magnetic stirrer ph meter autoclave laminar airflow culture tubes flasks petri dishes etc besides arrangements for maintenance of suitable temperature humidity and illumination are also needed To create aseptic conditions for culture, cleanliness and sterilization of glassware is very important. For sterilization, the glassware is first scrupulously cleaned. Sterilization usually takes place in a hot air oven. Various chemicals like ethanol, mercury chloride and cresol are used for this purpose. Flasks and tubes are plugged with non-absorbent cotton which prevents entry of bacteria after sterilization. Petri dishes are usually wrapped in paper to maintain sterility. The inoculation chamber is usually sterilized by ultraviolet rays. The culture medium is sterilized by steam above 100 degrees Celsius which is produced under pressure using devices like pressure cooker and autoclaves all these operations are done in an aseptic environment inside a laminar airflow cabinet where the air is constantly replaced by fresh filter sterilized air the working table inside the inoculation chamber is swabbed with alcohol before use the next step is the preparation of nutrient or culture media which is selected depending on the requirements of plant material to be cultured some common culture media used for cell and tissue culture are white's medium morasich and skoog's medium and nitsich medium some growth regulators like auxins cytokinins or ga3 may also be added to the basal medium either alone or in various combinations Natural plant extracts like coconut milk and fruit juices are also used in the basal medium for growing tissues. For preparing the medium, various ingredients are dissolved in double distilled water and then 0.8% agar is added to solidify the medium. The pH of the medium is maintained at 5.8. Equal quantities of the medium are dispensed in cultural vials which are usually glass tubes 
battery plates or flasks. The culture vials are plugged with non-absorbent cotton and autoclaved at 120 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. Autoclaving, the medium provides aseptic conditions within the container. The transfer of plant tissues inside the culture container is done in completely aseptic conditions. First, the tissue is washed with mercury chloride solution or chlorine water for surface sterilization. Then, it is thoroughly washed with distilled water several times to make it free from the disinfectant. The tissue is then transferred inside the culture vials in an aseptic environment. All operations from surface sterilization to inoculation are done inside a laminar airflow cabinet where air is constantly replaced by fresh filter sterilized air. All instruments to be used are sterilized and cultures are maintained under controlled temperature and light. The tissue gives rise to an unorganized mass of cells called callus over which embryoids may develop and produce plants. Studies showed that auxin and cytokinin play a role in controlling the shoot and root formation or cellular differentiation. It was seen that in the presence of cytokinin, a vigorously growing callus of tobacco pith was formed which had shown poor growth in the case of a normal medium. When transferred to the medium containing more auxin and less cytokinin, the callus differentiated only roots. And if planted on a medium with higher concentration of cytokinin and less auxin, it differentiated only shoots. In carrot culture, cellular totipotency was seen in tissue culture. They grew small pieces of phloem of a mature carrot root in a liquid medium along with coconut milk. By gently shaking the cultures, the cell clusters and cells became free and floated in the medium. Some of them developed into rooting clumps. When these clumps were transferred to tubes containing a semi-solid medium, they gave rise to a whole plant that flowered and set seeds. Advances in tissue culture technology have made it possible to culture and regenerate whole plants from cells, protoplasts and tissues of a large number of plant species. The plant regenerated from the callus or resuspension culture often shows an increase in genetic variability which is of tremendous importance in breeding for crop improvements.